Hi everyone, Al with Al's Tech and Creative DIY. And what I'm going to show you now is how we set up the 14 inch Dollar Tree wreath form with the pipe cleaners so that we can get started on this wreath. This is the owl kit from Hardworking Mom. And what I want to say is now when she did it, she used two pipe cleaners and she just put them on. However, that confuses a person like me because I'd have so many tails sticking out. So what I did was we took two pipe cleaners and then just twisted them together all the way down, just like that. So I've already made up You'll want 18 pipe cleaners, or 18 ties, 10 on the bottom, and 8 on the top. And when I start, I'm going to start right here. Oh, you cannot see. Let me change my camera view. Okay. So when I start, I'm going to start right here on this crossbar. And I do that because this way it'll be non, it won't slide around. So we want to put it in the middle. And then I'm just going to take this one and put it on the other side of that crossbar. And then I'm just going to take and twirl the ring a couple of times and there we have it. Now I did try to measure the circumference. It's about between 42 and 43 and so they suggest you space your pipe cleaners about four inches apart. So what I thought we would do is measure and this one the shorter one measures a little less than four and this long one measures a little more than four and I'm gonna do the long one because you want four plus just a little bit so we're gonna take it around here we're gonna grab another set of our two pipe cleaners and when we do this one, we're going to go between the last ring and the ring above it. And that is for stability, so that they don't move around quite as much. Now, if you find that they're still moving, you can put a drop of glue on them. But I think we'll be okay. And we'll just keep going around until we have 10 on the bottom. And this is, you can use this um, anytime you have a regular box frame. If you um, cannot, work forms are totally sometimes almost impossible to find. Now this one, as you can see, goes right up to the crossbar. So I'm going to take advantage of that and do it like we did the first time. And that will help to keep it from sliding around. Because you don't want these sliding everywhere. But, like I said, this, and this can be used on any frame that doesn't have ties. A lot of people don't use work forms. I prefer them myself. But, I mean, it's just a preference, really. But because this kit came with 
three mesh. Um, she sent out the Dollar Tree frames for you to put the um, pipe cleaners on. And the reason I turn the frame and fold the pipe cleaner is because you get a tighter fit. And you don't, you see, you don't get much more. So you want them, like I said, about four inches apart. And this will be for our bottom layer. And as you notice, I'm twisting them so that we will be using mostly the bottom ring to put our ruffle on or our poof. I don't know which method I'm using yet. but we'll get that at another time. This is also a pre-recorded video. Um, I will go live and put the mesh on on a live video, but I just thought maybe if I did this, then it would... Um, help somebody, you know, help, help you to see how I do them and what I do with them and see how that one's come apart. And I mean, you don't have to twist them together. They do make them a little bit more sturdier. And actually, if I had, I don't remember what they call them, but um, they do make them. You can get it at Sims. I do believe you can order it through Craft Outlet. I'm not sure if Hobby Lobby or Michaels would carry it, but it's just like big, thick like the big thick ties you get that are already on the ring, they do sell that. And um, I would, if I had that, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That didn't work very well. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. All right. See if these are four inches apart. That's the wonderful thing about being on the live. Sometimes you just don't know what's going to happen. These are about three and a half. So that one's three and a half. Okay, so we'll move this one over. One. Two, three, this one I think, yeah. Although it seemed to measure out right, it didn't. So we'll take this one off and we're going to move it to where my thumb is.
one, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to put a different one here. And that's the great thing about when you put them on, you can put them on however you want. Some people just do the crossbars and uh, And then put the one on top in between. But you kind of, you know, you want them approximately about four inches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very good. And this one would be number ten. Now, we want eight, and we'll want it so that we're working with this highest ring or the third ring up. One, two. Okay. So we're going to start our top ones right here. on this crossbar. And I'm just going to take my handy dandy little measure. And because this isn't on a crossbar, I'll go between the inside ring and the ring above it. And like I said, if you turn the wreath or the wreath form as opposed to just turning the pipe cleaner, you will get a tighter fit. And we also reiterate that I want it so that we're using the taller or the higher bar. And my goal is to have the tin on the bottom 
and then the eight on the top, just like any normal work wreath form that I would use. And make sure you just catch those two on the top or on the inside, I guess. When I first started, I didn't know about work forms, and so this is how I did all my wreaths. I did them all with putting on the pipe cleaners, except I only used one pipe cleaner, and you don't necessarily have to use two. Um, but it just makes it a little bit more stable and helps hold your ruffles or your poofs or your curls on just a little bit better. One, two, three, four, five, six. and our last one. And there you have it. Let me see if I can back out. That one on. But there we have all of our pipe cleaners on, and now we're ready to start putting on our mesh or whatever we want to do. I just wanted to show you how to get your frame ready to go. And um, if you have any questions, you can leave me a message. Um, on Owl's Tech and Creative DIY. You can also email me at Owl's Tech and Creative DIY at gmail.com. I do have a website, which is Owl's Tech and Creative DIY.com. And I'm still working on making sure they'll all come up, but I also have Facebook. YouTube, Instagram, and Pinterest. So I'm hoping to get going this year and get started a little bit more. Lori brought this this kit out and it's perfect to settle in with my motif with the owl. So I'm going to make it. I haven't even made a wreath in over a year. So thank you for joining me and watching this. If you have any questions, just shoot me a message. If you can't find me under the name of Owl's Tech and Creative DIY, you can always look for my other name is Creative Reason Flowers. And in a search sometimes that will come up before the um, Owl's Tech will. But like I said, thank you for joining and watching. If you have any questions, let me know. And we will be back with our next portion of the wreath um, in a couple of days. Thank you, everyone. Take care and have a great evening. Bye.